care to show me a little um, something on the couch? Oh, I mean, you don't want me to break out. I do. That's gonna go viral. <laughs> break out, baby. Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where playful guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Tony Hale. Hello. Tony, hello. It's so nice to see you. I want to apologize for the socks. I love the socks. They are electric, <laughs> unnecessarily electric. <laughs> They're perfect for our couch. Are they? Let's get to I surfing. Know. Come that on. A, that's a contrast right there. <laughs> Ready to watch some clips? Sure. All right. Are we going to go some home movies, childhood trauma? <laughs> oh, this was, okay, this was a Volkswagen ad I did in 2000. Um, Mr. Roboto's a song, and I remember I went in the audition, and it was between this song or um, Rock Me Amadeus, and they chose that song. That was how many years ago? 19 years ago. Mm -hmm. That's crazy, That's guys. That's crazy. But you have not aged. You look great. That's a lot of work. <laughs> I have had so many surgeries. How did it impact the trajectory of your career? Because you uh, were a household face at one moment. I remember it was this commercial, and then there was another Volkswagen commercial I did where we were putting a mattress on top of the car. Hi. The director did not speak very good English, and there was three of us, and I remember him just going, I don't know, I was thinking monkey, monkey. And we were like, monkey? What are you talking, monkey? And so we didn't know what he meant, and so we just started just putting the mattress on the car. He's like, yeah, 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 monkey, monkey. We're like, what are you saying? So what yeah. was he saying? I guess he wanted us to act like monkeys, uh, and we we're like, how do you how do you put a mattress on top of a car acting like monkeys? And we just put the mattress on top of the car, and he was like, bruh, yeah, yeah, monkey. Monkey. We're like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with it. Uh, we'll right. take it. We'll Up next. <laughs> What's next? Samantha, okay. on the other hand, saw herself so a little this too was clearly. Okay. okay, Samantha. <laughs> tiger here is a variety oh. of music choices. Yep, I was Tiger. You were Tiger. My name was <laughs> Tiger. And you're looking at and a look, cougar. And I'm looking at a cougar. I'm comfortable. And um, and I she yep. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. <laughs> and this was my one of my very first TV gigs. Tiger? And that face has pretty much been a through line in my career where I've just dumbfounded in shock. Was she actually naked? She had. Kim she was covered in, in, in certain areas. And okay. I felt bad, and I think I said something to her. I think I was like, hey, I just want to apologize that I have to stare at you. And she was like, oh, thanks. But I'm sure she was like, who is this guy? Um, <laughs> but I was really freaked out by being on that set. I was, I mean, because at the time, Sex and the City was like the... It was the biggest the show big on television. This and the Sobran Sobranos. You Sobranos. guys watch the Sobranos? <laughs> I was just so nervous. I, I think I was very close to a panic attack in that shot. <laughs> <laughs> Which was perfect for your character. Yeah, perfect for every character I ever do. So you saw Kim Cattrall's little Kim. Uh, <laughs> I said it. <laughs> up oh, next. Up next. What's next? <laughs> Moving on. Okay. So. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. So <laughs> this is. So this. Oh, I haven't seen this stuff in so long. This is when. Well, bef okay, that's when Buster got drunk and everything went downhill from there. But that was a very large juice box for him. Buster had never had that kind of juice. No. And he turned it up. He turned it up. Yes, he did, with his hook. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the hook. I mean, mm -hmm. Buster's hand has one of the greatest story arcs in television history. I had six different uh, attachments to my arm, I think, over the season. And it, was, it got so confusing that I never knew, that there was a prop person came up to me once and just put a foot on my arm and was like, all right, here you go. And I said, so what, is this, what does this mean? And the props person goes, I don't know. Just like, just go with it. Will Buster and the gang be back? David Cross was here a few weeks ago. Oh, was he? Yeah, he said it's not happening. Okay. <laughs> and he said it shouldn't happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way, I love David Cross. Here's the thing. I get all my information from the internet and from David Cross. Do you want it to come back? Listen, I'm an actor who's so thankful for a gig. So it's, it's like after the first, you know, the first three seasons, you always think, oh, that's done. And then it starts coming back. So you, you never know. So we can hold out hope. Well, I mean, I but think But don't that, hold our breath. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Let's not hold our breath. Okay. <laughs> next. Three right. to five oh. years? This in jail. Yeah, that's that's another thing I do. All that, yeah. That's this guy. is the informant. Right. And it was with uh, oh sweet Melanie Linsky, who I love. 
and Matt Damon is the nicest guy. This was directed by Steven Soderbergh, yes. and I was and such, and continue to be such a Steven Soderbergh fan. Was he was this director who everybody that. respected, and he commanded the set, but he wasn't a douchebag. Mm -hmm. He was just very... So that is possible. Oh, it's so possible. And everybody, because he didn't, he didn't like, you know, diminish people or scream or anything like that. He just had that authority. And, and but just was like, all right, let's do this, let this, but still everybody, he had the respect of everybody. And he had a, he really walked that beautiful balance. I like that. Yeah. That's good to hear. This was a nice departure too, because I had just come from Arrested yeah. Development. Right. And, and this is a serious role And this for is you. a serious role, and it's not like anybody is gonna see Arrested Development and be like, let's make him a lawyer in a movie. But Steven Soderbergh made a, a number of supporting actors. A number of supporting, like, he used Why a lot. Why did he make that choice to have all these comedic actors play these serious I don't know, but it was, it was a lot in that movie. I think he, you know, sees that, I don't know, maybe a lot of comedy comes from a lot of pain, mm -hmm. so there's a lot to draw from. It's okay. <laughs> this is just, a therapy is patch it? as well, so it feels feel free. Like one. Kick your legs up. Um, Put your electric just, just, socks on my, <laughs> on my I lap. I just totally get into all my childhood <laughs> trauma. That's what the viewers want to hear. <laughs>
who is who's adorable. A, who's adorable. He thinks he's trash. He ends up being recycled into this beloved toy, but yeah. he still believes he's trash. I mean, it works on so <laughs> many levels. I know, and you think on a meta level, anybody right. who might think that of themselves right. or might have been told that, everybody has such value. Right. Everybody has purpose. I mean, typical Pixar, they make you laugh, and then you're crying mm -hmm. in a corner. I was able to see it for the first time last week, and I'm just like, this feels like I'm watching magic. It's just so wild to me. Speaking of wild, your children's book, Archibald's Next Big Thing, yeah. just got picked up by Netflix? When I did Arrested Development, it was my big thing. Mm -hmm. And I was very excited about it. But when I was on my big thing, I realized I was still looking to my next thing. And the thing is, if you're so focused on your next adventure, you're going to miss the adventure mm -hmm. you're on. And Archibald's the main character. He's a chicken that lives every moment to the fullest. He sees the best in people, the best in situations. He goes on these great adventures. It gives me a lot of joy to do it. And it comes out in the fall <sighs> on Netflix. You have given me a lot of joy. Thank oh. you so much for being here. Are you kidding? You I love fantastic. it. I love it. That was a walk down memory lane. It was. And oh. triggered some trauma. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go have a little chitty chat <laughs> with my therapist. Toy Story 4 is in theaters now. See you next week on Couch Surfing. Bye, guys. Mm, let's put those socks down.